After a very comfortable stay at the beautiful Cary Valley Resort, I'm off to Manjimup. And if you haven't been here for a while, you might be surprised how much there is to see. I'm starting at the brand new Power Up Museum. It's located alongside the State Timber Museum and the Manjimup Heritage Park. It is the new home for a collection that used to be on display in Fremantle. It used to be called the World of Energy, but we've given it a completely new life. We've reimagined the collection. The centre was opened in December. On display is the history of power generation in WA over the past 200 years. What you can't miss when you walk in there are these massive electricity generators. Big generation sets, one of which was originally in the Pemberton Sawmill, which is really nice, so it tells a local story. But it's not all a museum experience. You can actually play and learn. And then we've added to it with lots of interactives and new interpretation and lots of buttons and levers and things for kiddies to push and pull. So yeah, so it is really hands-on. Definitely a hands-on exhibition for sure. Next, I take a look at the State Timber Museum. This museum captures the history of the timber industry across the region. It has some interactive experiences and definitely worth a visit. And outside, I'm now in the Heritage Precinct. There's 12 and a half acres here and plenty to see. There's a historic hamlet with buildings from the 1900s. This is the actual jail. I don't think the sax player was a part of the original setup, but he's pretty cool. There's a mill workers timber cottage, fire lookout and heaps more. We've got an old school. Uh, we have just developed a new agricultural exhibit which tells the, the rich story of our region and its horticultural heritage as well. Now this is a playground. The race is on. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you know, we've often found that parents have to sit on the side of a playground and watch kids play. Not here. It's wow. about everyone getting involved and everyone sort of being part of it. Well, clearly the flying fox is a favourite, but the park also has the biggest dry slide in the southern hemisphere. It stands at 17 metres tall. That slide is a dream come true for children. <laughs> it is. The, uh, forget children. Yes. It's a dream come true for everyone. We had a bunch of um, seniors. I think the average age was around 75 to 80, and every single one of them went down. It. I love that. <laughs> so they loved it. There is so much going on, not only here in Manjimup, but right across the region. We've got four major towns, Manjimup, Pemberton, Northcliffe and Walpole, and seven settlements. All great places to live, come and caravan and camp, you hard out. The Visitor Centre is also on site and have all the info. So drop in and see them or find them online at manjimupwa.com. Mm -hmm.